Hi everybody. I'd like to talk today a little bit about the flat earth and what happens in the tropics. In the flat earth model, the sun never rises or sets. It circles on a plane about 3,000 miles up, parallel to the flat earth, using a spotlight to somehow create areas of day and night. Now that's problem number one. If someone was out at night with like a flashlight, they'd be seen for miles, even where the light wasn't pointing. How could the sun be any different? A spotlight type sun would be seen everywhere at all times. It's really the most crazy idea these flat earthers ever came up with. Now this map shows the sun on the equator with with the spotlight tangent to the North Pole and Antarctica. Now this has a certain logic to it. It allows the spotlight to cover over the North Pole in summer when the sun is up in the Tropic of Cancer, which is the midnight sun, and then it leaves it dark in winter when the sun goes south to the Tropic of Capricorn. This, of course, overlooks the fact that uh, Antarctica also has a midnight sun. And this is a thing that this spotlight idea just can't possibly model. For flat earthers, this kind of falls into the category of either I don't know, or I don't care. So that's problem number two. I want to take a look at how many hours of sunlight the equator is going to get using this model throughout the year. This sketch shows the Earth, the equator, the, and the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn. Now putting the sun on the tropic of Capricorn, the equator gets light each day for 104 degrees of arc, which is about seven hours. Putting the sun on the equator, it gets light each day for 120 degrees of arc, which comes out to exactly eight hours. Putting the sun on the Tropic of Cancer, the equator gets light each day for 135 degrees of arc, uh, which is, comes out to about nine hours. Now, the problem with this is that not one of these numbers is even close. The equator doesn't get varying amounts of sunlight throughout the year. It gets exactly 12 hours of sunlight every day, 365 days a year. So that's, that's problem number three. So this, this model, it's hopelessly wrong. It doesn't come close to describing what's observed. I have really yet to see a, a flat earth map that does. Like one thing about these flat earthers that, that I just can't get around is that they use modern technologies like the internet and YouTube. These are built on centuries of accumulated knowledge and they're using them to undermine civilization with their stone age ideas. It's not just ironic, it's beyond ironic, it's idiotic. No educated person has believed that the, the Earth is flat in the last 500 years. Well, I guess that's all I got to say about this right now. Thanks for watching. It was kind of fun to make. And I'll see you next time.